One day you listen a piece that normally you can swallow quite well. You just are in a very self-critical mood and, uh, and your own music doesn't sound, you know, doesn't sound as good as you would love it to be. So I think that's all with all music, the recent ones and, and the old pieces. like the solo or um, spiral, ones that he had done in the 60s, which were very open score and with electronics, okay, then he put with new electronics. But um, a friend of mine worked on them and, and suddenly he wanted to put on all the theater motions and all the pres prescriptions that he had done in later pieces on that. And I think that um, progressively he went back to some of his pieces and tried to either correct them or at least impose his present personality on what had been like 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. So that would support what you're saying that you know when you change you look at you look back at the pieces differently and um, you either leave them or Yeah but I have here one very, very actual example which we will hear tomorrow. Stand by two. Oh, right. Yeah. And, and that's that piece that uh, I didn't have a copyright for the text that I wrote uh, year 80. And uh, recently the publisher told me that I would have copyright for that text. And, uh, and uh, that piece was very important for me. The electronic part had been destroyed because I, I thought that piece will be never performed again. And uh, I've reconstructed the electronic part. And I was thinking that I'll do something completely different because in the, in the soprano part there are things that I like, uh, but I thought that after five operas I would write something completely different. But more I looked the old score, more I realized that I cannot change it. It has certain uh, identity. Yes. 